right, how's it going everybody? It is June 10th, 2018, and today I'd really like to take a look more in depth at Hawaii and give you the tools and the ability to track the earthquakes yourself and to kind of read the monitors that the USGS provides. So, as of right now, as you can see on your screen, uh, this is the current, this is uh, for June 10th from this is actually from June 3rd to the 10th of the earthquakes that we have had along Hawaii and Kilauea. So here's Kilauea, the most as you can tell are amongst the volcano. Well we have the rest of them what are known as the Helena fault system which is about right here and this is Helena right here. So, uh, and at first I'm just going to go over the, what we're seeing and I'm going to go more in depth of how to read these. I'm going to go over a couple of interesting things that I have found and that I want to bring to your attention but we'll start off slow. Um, here's another way to, they have it laid out so you can kind of view the time period of the um, of the current earthquakes. Earthquake depth rates. Mainly so I got on here this morning and I was I had to. I had I, I've been wanting to look at the deformation charts for the Helena slump for days. I have been trying and I figured out maybe I was being slow, maybe I'm not maybe I'm not using the website properly, maybe I just need to define my skills and learn how to read these charts. And so you know what? I have been reading and I have been learning and I'm gonna show you what I've learned so far. Alright. So this is where we're at. Alright, so this this little thing right here, which I've been attempting to break down for a while now, um, is the tilt chart, which is the tilt this is something they, they refer to as a tilt meter. They often measure the radial tilt of volcanoes. All right, so the blue line, which is the, is the line that I decided to look at because the green line is stationary, it doesn't really move. The blue line, however, you notice up till about the seventh, something happened. I think this is actually when the crater started falling in on itself because I'll show you the location of where this is and this is by the greater caldera this is June 6th to about the 7th and by the 8th something fell down because the whole area the whole there's a huge tilt slide down now it's not like it was so we're gonna look up as right here it says above the blue line shows the radial tilt of Uweka something like that Uweka Huna anyways so I thought I looked that up and it's you whatever that is bluff which is located right here. So here's the the original caldera before you know it's all been expanded. Um, and guys, I think I'm correct. I think Dutch is correct, and I truly do believe this whole thing is falling in on itself. And I have proof. Okay, I have proof. We will start here. So here's the bluff. We are noticing. Like I said, there is something happened over here. It's falling down. Something, it's it's going down. Okay? Around the 6th or 7th, it started giving out. We already noticed fissures all on this back side. Okay? Also, um, I have another very interesting thing I'd like to show you. Okay. Yes. This. This, 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 this. This is it. I should have had it moved over. I apologize. I'm trying to have this trying to make this videos more official really trying to put some work into it even though I'm not editing I'm not making it you know quality wise in that perspective but content wise I'm trying to really give you something you can watch and get some information out of anyways 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 so on the USGS website uh, geologists and uh, whatever they're called geophysicists whoever study volcanoes um, they go off they use GPS monitors they monitor gas emissions. They use size size mon size nom. Yeah, I cannot say that word for the life of me. Seismograph is what I'm looking at, and tilt meters. I apologize, <laughs> but okay. So what? This is why I believe this whole greater caldera is falling in on itself is because gas emissions. Gas emissions. They are only track them when they start erupting out of the fissures, and that is detailed right here. Magma contains dissolved gases which provide the provided driving force that causes most volcanic eruptions as magma rises towards the surface 
and pressure decreases, gases are released from the liquid portion of the magma and continue to travel upward and eventually release into the surface. So that is what we're seeing up here. The volcano, or the volcano house is right here. And this is as of this is this is today. This is looking at today. Uh, let me make sure. Built to quakes. Yeah, today we have gas emissions right out by the volcano house. And as we just read, now listen, listen. Now I, I thought maybe this is just gas being because I mean the whole volcano is pumping out gas, you know. But no, why wouldn't there be gas emissions everywhere else if that was the case? Is what I thought. So this must be it's its independent own fissure that has opened up, and there is gas coming out of it. And as I said, that is located. Here's the volcano house. Okay? Volcano house here. We'll back it up a little bit. Back. Okay? This is about where it's at right now. It's fissuring up here and pumping out gas. Okay? Do, do you see what I'm saying? The, there is deformation right here. If you look at the monitors right here. This is for this area right here zoom in a little more for the bluff it is going down this is getting gas emissions coming out of the ground right by the volcano house and that is you can track that live right there but 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 so got got a little more in depth i've been using the using this usgs website i'm gonna tell you people i find something suspicious going on because half of these freaking links do not work while other ones that you would think would work because they're not by the active areas work just fine now I thought maybe some of these have been damaged and maybe some of them have been I don't know but you know I, I just always think there's something deeper going on but we will look at the tilt meters and the seismographs now because in some areas if they're not reporting earthquakes you can refer to the seismographs A seismograph is an instrument that measures and records details of earthquakes such as force and duration okay and I will show you how to somewhat read them to the best of my abilities. Oh, uh, where was I at? I apologize. Doing a lot, a lot of clip. Oh, aha. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. See. So, so this is this is my issue. Now, I this may be a lava flow area. So, but this see this one works, but this one doesn't. Okay. That that's my problem. A lot of these are like that. So I click this. This is up to April 2018 this is up to almost May whenever the event main the main event started and the Salina slump started slipping look at the ground up from look how look how much it dropped 0.4 meters now that's not much but it dropped and on the east side it went up a lot of ground information a lot of stuff a lot of activity is going along this fault or on this coastline which is I mean that it there's I'll show you now the plates and stuff of what I think like I said all this is it, it, I, I really feel like this is gonna go off in the ocean maybe at least a portion of it because I feel like it's a lot of activities going on there um, this is released by the Berkeley size uh, seismology lab I, I apologize if I can't read it's it's embarrassing I don't like it either I promise you um, this re was released on May 4th 2018 this like I said May 4th Okay, so this is when the activity had just started in Hawaii. And this was, so, oh, Friday, May 14th. After last Friday's 6.9 earthquake, the southern coast of Hawaii moved towards the ocean by about two feet. Two feet. And that was May 4th, okay? That was by a uh, 6.9 earthquake, so a rather large size earthquake that it made it move by two feet. But we're in, it's June 10th now. We have, I mean, thousands of earthquakes occurring now. How much do you think this has moved? Because I haven't heard a report. I haven't heard anyone update it. I'm not getting, when I read these graphs, because I'm having to read the graphs myself, and I, I, I don't know how good I am, I'll be honest with you. But I'm doing my best. So, we will now go to this, I found this beautiful picture. This is what it would look like if the Helena slump fell. These are the stages it would go through leading up to the, the, the catastrophic slope failure. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, sorry. All right, uh, stage one. It's normal, we have some normal avalanche maybe due to shaking. 
uh, it begins to start sliding, which as if you watched my previous video, you will learn that the Kilauea Volcano slides. Um, we have some more earthquakes, and you notice the ground deformation. Look, it'll go, it'll slump, it'll start breaking. I, I, if I was, I, I wish. I wish I went to school for this so I could really break it down. But the picture says a thousand words, okay? And this is put out by smart people who studied this. This is what they're saying could happen. This was released a while ago. So that's why I'm kind of, you know, I, I'm iffy on it. But this does give us a good picture and kind of what to look for for a stage four catastrophic failure. Okay? So we kind of know what, what we're looking for before it actually fails, ultimately, okay? Um, okay, back over here. Uh, so we're gonna look at tilt meters and the seismographs around the area. Uh, I noticed Dutch say that they said there was nothing going on at Mauna Loa, and I said, Dutch, look at seismographs because if you look at seismographs, there's always activity going on. But the only downside about the seismographs, you can't tell the magnitude, you don't know what's actually making it go off because they're so sensitive they pick up everything around them. They can pick up the wind, they can pick up car noise. So it's not a reliable source on its own to really figure out what's going on. However, if you look at enough of these um, graphs all around, you can paint a pretty decent picture of what might be going on underneath the ground because these are, the majority of these, uh, actually I don't know if any of these are buried. Now let's think of that. But mono, like I said, some of these they'll give you a you know a graph for it and you kind of check it out. So you want to start at the main event, which is I want to say it's called the oh uh, what is it? I I can't remember now. But you go out a little little before is when the actual main event started and then it registers out and then it bounces back out. And you want to check that with multiple. You want to go around and make sure you get the same reading on other um, charts around the area. I learned that some charts, if you get a, like a crazy reading, but it can't be duplicated by other chart or by other seismo seism seismographs, it, it's it's just it's wrong. It needs to be the machine essentially needs to be fixed. So keep that in mind. Um, I apologize for my illiteracy today. I can, I can barely speak today, but you know what? We're gonna get through it, and I uh, still think I'm gonna teach you something regardless. Um, that is what I have been reading today. I, as I said, I, I have no idea if it's going to slump, but the, and the entire thing will slump off. I do think there's plenty of evidence. There's plenty of activity going on around the Helena fault system to really raise some red flags and maybe start alerting some people. It, cause if in May 4th or yeah, May 5th, May 4th, whenever, yeah, it moved two feet from a 6.9, I'm going to say all this activity it's probably moved a little bit more and I'm unable with my abilities to really paint a good picture because see even with the GPS I've checked because the GPS is what helps you almost every single one is off and the ones that aren't off the readings are just absurd so as an amateur like myself and trying to reading them I really don't even know what to get out of the information that I'm seeing some either they jump just completely off the board or that you know stuff like that but as I, I'm going to provide this to you, my viewers, you can take this on yourself like I have. Spend a little time, figure out what you're reading, what you're looking at, and what the people that, you know, the USGS people are talking about in general. It, it doesn't hurt for you to really develop your own opinion, and, or not your own opinion, but your own educated, you know, look at it. I mean, you can, you can understand what he's talking about while he's talking about it. You don't have to be a professional to know how to look at charts. Um, it helps, you know, but you don't have to. I'm not sitting here telling you it's going to happen. However, I, I haven't heard anyone mention this gas thing. And I would like you, if you think, like I said, I really do think this. I have something going here because gas emissions only pop out from fissures, as we read from the USGS website. Um, we have activity, constant activity going over here on the Greater Caldera, which is, if you guys don't know what the Greater, this whole thing right here is the Greater Caldera, this whole area. And we're having gas emissions up here, okay? It's only falling in about right around here, this whole little area. So there's no reason why we should be having gas emissions up here yet. So I'm letting you know ahead of advance. It's uh, June 10th, okay? No one else has talked about it. I'm talking about it. I think this entire thing is going to start going in now, unfortunately. And if you look at the charts and you learn how to start reading these things, I think you'll come to the same conclusion. 
Uh, I apologize. I was talking fast. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to put some more enthusiasm in. I'm trying to, you know, talk a little louder. As I said, overall, just trying to improve the quality of my content for my viewers. Trying to get more viewers here. Trying to get more likes. Just trying to stick out compared to these other people and these other channels out there. That's all. Um, I may have another video up today, guys. Maybe not. I don't know. But I hope you guys have a great day.